Welcome everybody to another wild savanna video. This time I decide to play with the fastest land animal that we know, the cheetah. Although majestic and fast, the cheetah is known for being the weakest among cats. So I decide to see how we would be able to survive as a cheetah in the wild savanna. So this is our story. We start our story by patrolling the river in hopes of finding something to catch. Although we are part of the big cats of the savanna, the cheetah is most known for its speed. Sadly, this big cat does not have the strength to catch bigger prey as a lion or even a leopard. So we rely more on our speed and tactic and numbers to try and bring down those bigger herbivores and i don't usually play a lot of wild savanna and the cheetah is one of the animals that's still a work in progress like the leopard so there's still a lot of things that need to be tweaked out and maybe balanced or added so it's very important to keep that in mind after roaming for a little bit we came across a golden opportunity a adult wildebeest not knowing if we had the chance of pouncing or maybe doing any damage to this wildebeest, I decided to try and test the waters and see. Because after all, a cheetah is capable of bringing down a wildebeest, but unfortunately, not solo. With no pounce or mechanic, for being able to grab and bring this wildebeest down, it was pretty impossible to do it. We had the speed, but we lacked the damage and the pounce mechanic. Because after all, bringing down an adult wildebeest alone for a cheetah is almost impossible. Despite the efforts, we weren't doing any damage. So it was time to let the wildebeest go and survive with our life. It was a brand new day. I spent almost 10 minutes searching around for a suitable prey to catch, but unfortunately we didn't find anything. In this game, just like any animal survival games, the lions are the ones that dominate the field, making playing as a small carnivore an impossible task. Because after all, everybody wants to play as a lion, but no one wants to play as a herbivore. The chance of us finding a small gazelle is one to a million. But what I've seen throughout this gameplay is that there are a lot of birds, so not all is lost. At the distance I spotted a bird corpse, making this an easy meal for us but very dangerous because next to it was a small group of lions. We had to be very cautious and very careful because one unfortunate surprise and that would be the end of our story. Unfortunately, we got spotted by the male lion. But, because we are fast, we are able to outrun and outpace the male lion. That meal helped us survive a little bit our journey. But we were still hungry. So I decided to roam a little bit and try and see if we can find something to eat or maybe a partner to help us hunt. After a long journey, we finally arrived at one of the most populated places in Wild Savannah. And as you can see, it's filled with a lot of animals, especially lions. But because this place is crowded with lions, it would not be very smart to try and mix with them and eventually end up dead. So I decided to avoid 
this place. I was praying that every place that I went to not find a big group of lions, but unfortunately, this is the reality. It doesn't take too long to notice that the majority of players only play lions and that can break the balance in this game. Especially when you have animals that rely on smaller or maybe bigger animals to survive. So I made all my way to the west in search of some fresh drink. And I hope I wouldn't come across any lion prides. I finally found some fresh water to drink. And there was... No lion pride on sight for now. Three adult males arrived at the pond. And because we don't have any chance to fight, I decide to give them some distance. They didn't seem to be the typical KOS lines that I've came across. So I decided to drink the rest of the water and be on my way. Because this server was full of lines, it was time for us to switch to server number two in hopes of finding different animals. In server 2, we had a little bit more of fun and action because I remember that in Wild Savannah there are AIs such as a bunny that we could easily train and catch. Now in my opinion when it comes to animal survival games, every single game needs AI. It doesn't matter if it's a gazelle or even a zebra. To avoid of having a unbalanced ecosystem in the servers so that smaller Carnivores have a chance of winning and surviving in these types of servers. After walking a little bit, we stumbled across a golden opportunity. A small little bunny. A worthy opponent for our speed. And a good practice for an untrained cheetah like myself. It was not this time that we would have some rabbit meat and I still had a lot to train and to learn. Sometimes it's best to take a look over your surroundings because in this example, while we're trying to catch a bunny, a lioness was keeping a close eye on us. So between eating or dying, I decide to abandon the hunt and run. Although it was pretty obvious that we knew that the lioness was there, she kept on following us throughout this past few minutes. She was taking her own time, which I found it pretty strange 
because she was not trying to run or even engage but she was stalking me in a very sinister way so i decided it was best for me to walk and regen all of my stamina in case something bad happened After nightfall, we eventually were able to outrun and outsmart the young lioness. I eventually ended up switching servers, I didn't realize that until I was editing this video, but we have found ourselves another cheetah, which for the past few seconds, there was a little bit of confusion. Not sure if the lion was friends with the cheetah, I decided to continue on my own. Because after all, a 2v1 wouldn't really be in my favor. A few minutes later, that same cheetah decided to join me for a drink. Now at this point, I didn't really know what to do, if I should let her join it or not. I just decided to let it tag along and see what would happen. After drinking, now it was time for us to put some practice on yet another bunny. And we were not the only ones trying to catch this bunny. There was also a small rival. If I played my cards right, I would end up with either a bird or a bunny. Sadly, for unknown reasons, the pounce didn't go through. But my friend was on the other end, catching and pursuing that rabbit. And now it was a race to see who would catch that rabbit first. But because I am a little bit of a opportunist person, I had more my focus on the bird. But that was not an easy task. He eventually managed to catch the bunny and now it was GG. There was no way that I could be able to catch that bird or could I? I slowly kept track of the bird movement and saw that he decided to land on some nearby bushes. So I decided to sneak up on him and see if I could get a easy catch. Unfortunately, he was a very cautious bird. With no luck whatsoever, me or the other cheetah, the only thing that we could see was the little bird enjoying his meal on top of a tree. But our adventure was not yet over because we decided to cross the river. With no luck whatsoever after crossing the river, we stumbled upon this dead hyena corpse. And because we were very hungry, we ate everything to the bone. I still had hopes of finding maybe a gazelle or maybe a different animal that we could do a pretty cool chase. So I decided to venture out and see if we would manage to find that near the river.
sadly, me and our theater friend decided to part ways because I was looking for a grand finale to end this video. The other one, although still hungry, decided to cross the river in hopes of eating a corp that was rotting over there. So I took a gamble and decided to roam for the past few minutes in hopes of finding something to catch. Another failed attempt. This proved that trying to catch bird as at least the cheetah is pretty tricky. I think it's due to the velocity. Throughout the rest of the video, we couldn't really find or even catch anything else. We came across a place where basically lions were fighting, hyenas were watching, and people were just, you know, enjoying the PvP, I guess. But that was not for me. I was in search of something more exciting. But unfortunately in this game, because there are no servers, there is really not much I can do. So I do hope you guys enjoy this Wild Savannah video. Make sure to hit that like if you guys enjoy. Let's try and hit 200 likes in this video. And make sure you guys are subscribed because a lot of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you guys really enjoy, hit that like, a subscribe and a comment for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll catch you guys in a next video. Kato here, take care, and peace.